If I were to ask you, the average person at the course of a day, do they have more successes or more failures? This week's Torah portion contains a very powerful verse. Matovu ahalacha Yaakov mishkanotecha Yisrael. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. This verse was spoken by none other than the Gentile prophet, who in his attempt to curse the Jews, God put blessings into the mouth of Bilaam. And this verse was uttered by Bilaam and is recited every day by Jews all over the world when they begin their daily prayers. Why has this verse become such a central verse in the Jewish prayer and liturgy? And Rashi explains the meaning of the verse. What was it that Bilaam saw that caused him to utter this blessing? Says Rashi that when he saw the Jewish encampment in the desert, he noticed that all of the tents and dwelling places of the Jews were situated in a way that no two doors faced each other. And when he saw that modesty and privacy, he uttered this blessing. Why do we remember this blessing every day? Because the greatest sometimes disappointments and misery and self-imposed unhappiness comes from looking into the tent of others, looking into what our neighbors have that we don't have. We may have so much to be grateful for, but if we're always looking into the tent of our neighbor and saying, look what they have, then we're never satisfied. And today, it doesn't only mean literally looking into the tent or into the window of your neighbor's house. It means looking on social media to their lifestyle, their vacation, their children's success, their personal wealth. And when we're looking into the tent of others, we don't appreciate what we have in our own tent. When we wake up in the morning, we open our eyes, that's success. We get out of bed, that's success. Our arms and legs are working, that's success. We're breathing, that's success. Every function we do is success. And that's why there's a blessing for every one of those functions. From waking up to, and opening our eyes, to using the facilities, to being able to stand erect, we thank God, success, success, success. Yes, there are failures and disappointments, but we have so much to be grateful for when it comes to our very own blessings and success in life. Matovu, how goodly, how great are all of our blessings that God bestowed upon us. If we look into our own tent rather than the tent of others, then we will find true contentment and happiness. I tell a story about a man who came to heaven and he walks into one room and he sees thousands of angels running around. He says, what is this room? They say, this is the shipping department. We process all the requests from people and we send them out. Then he goes into another room and he sees one angel sitting there at a desk all alone with very little work to do. And he says, what do you do in this room? And the angel says, this is customer satisfaction department where we process the letters of thank you and appreciation from people who are grateful for their blessings. Matovu is a daily reminder to not look into other people's tent. Look in your own tent and count your infinite blessings. Have a wonderful day.